So today we're going to be upgrading my Wi-Fi system in my house with this 6E box from Orbi. Let's hope it does well. High five video, yes! Sorry about this. <laughs> Just a little bit. 881, bro. Guys, if you don't know what Wi-Fi 6 is, I spent the entirety of my last week making a video on it that's already up on the channel, so we'll link it up there or down there below the like button. Really important you watch that before you watch this video. But in today's video, we're gonna be overhauling my house with this new Wi-Fi 6E system from Netgear and comparing it to the enterprise system that I've already got built into my house. Now basically you get all of these nodes in the package. One of them is a router and then you get these two satellites. This isn't a cheap system by any means, but hopefully what we're gonna see today is some absolutely stellar performance because between you and me, I've been testing them at the office for the last week and they're insane. So like I mentioned, I've already set this up via the mobile app. You scan the QR code, you tell it how many mesh nodes you've got. So in my case, we've got two extra nodes here. And then you create your wireless network basically by typing in the name of the network and the password it then automatically checks for any firmware updates and if there's some there it applies them and then you're pretty much good to go in no more than 10 minutes really important now in my house I have what I would call an enterprise network which probably consists of about 900 pounds worth of actual physical gear in the house but not to mention all of the man hours blood sweat and tears that I put in mainly tears of running the Ethernet runs all over my house to connect all of the numerous access points up honestly it was an absolute nightmare and what we've ended up with is in here this is my first access point up there I'm not sure if you can see that little disc this one is Wi-Fi 6. This is an 802.11 AC access point. Again, you can imagine how hard it was to run the cable to here. And then you can see this sort of pole-shaped access point up here and the corresponding cable that runs to it. Now, these three access points that I've just shown you guys are placed around my home in the ideal locations to get coverage everywhere. So no matter where I am, I've pretty much got three bars of signal. It's really, really not easy. It took me hours and hours and hours. It is always best to run a hardwired cable to any client device on the network or an access point that's giving off Wi-Fi. It just will give you the best results. And now obviously there is an option to hardwire the satellites, but that's not really what I'm interested in. These systems are getting that good that the wireless connection between the router and the satellites is, is just as good as a wired connection. And honestly, I never thought I'd hear myself say that. As you can see we have a 10 gig internet import as well as a 2.5 gig port for any LAN connected devices and then three further 1 gig ports for any other devices on the network. We're getting here in the kitchen about 400 meg. Now up in my office we're still connected to the Wi-Fi 6 access point in the kitchen however we're a little bit further away so the speeds will be worse. About half in fact 200 meg. Okay so now we're in the shed at the bottom of my garden this is where having a hardwired access point in the garage comes in clutch because in the shed as you can see we're getting about 230 meg which is absolutely solid for me being in my shed and as you can see out here as expected we're getting about 80 to 100 meg so those are our baseline tests of my enterprise network that's hardwired and pre-installed into my house let's go install the Orbi system so all it's going to take is power and that is it, we wait for it to connect. Okay, so our second of two nodes, this is gonna go in the lounge. Okay, so as you can see via the app, we have the internet online and two of our satellites are connected. One in the garage and one in the lounge. So let's redo our speed tests here. In the kitchen, exactly the same place we were before and we are getting around 370 on the Orbi. Now I'm assuming we're connected here to the main node. Okay, so up in the office, again, should be still connected to the router just a little bit further away, one floor up. And as you can see up here, we're getting faster speeds than what we got with my enterprise access point before. An extra 70 meg, which is really, really interesting. The Orbi is working better at a further away range. 
Okay, so now we're in the shed. What I'm hoping is happening is that the internet is coming to the Orbi that's in the kitchen. It's then wirelessly being transmitted on its own wireless band to the node in the garage, which my phone, the client device, is connecting to. Let's see what we get in here. 15 ping. I'm, I'm literally in my, back out mate, because I'm literally in the shed at the bottom of the garden. Look, the house is over here. Unreal. Okay, so same test outside the front of the house this time. And as you can see, we are pulling 100, well, 300 meg outside on the pavement, outside my house. Like we are literally on the pavement right now, as you can see. Okay, so how are we gonna test the actual speed between the main router and the satellite mesh points? First off, what we're gonna do is get a base speed connected directly into the router, which should be about 900 meg, which is what I have coming into this house. And as you can see, bob on, 920 to our main node here. Now you could imagine this actually sat here in my lounge running things like the PlayStation 5, the amplifier, the TV here, which could all have hardwired speeds to this node, which is wirelessly connected back to the main node. Oh my God. <laughs> I was, it's literally the, oh what? Bear in mind, there's two brick walls in between this node here and the main router node in the kitchen. It's absolutely maxing out my upload speed as well, which is 100, 800. That has absolutely blown me away. That is literally like there is a physical cable between the router and this node but there isn't. I still, realistically, I thought 550, maybe 600 at a push, 881. Okay, so guys, this is the most exciting portion of this video. I've had this system, the Orbi system in my house for a couple of weeks. And in that two weeks, I haven't really been able to test the full functionality. Now you may be thinking, what's the full functionality? Well, these things, as I've said, support Wi-Fi 6E, which we've made a whole video about, and it's basically Wi-Fi in the new six gigahertz range. Now, to install that or fit Wi-Fi 6 into a computer, we're going to need a compatible Wi-Fi 6E card so it can actually pick up the six gig signal from the Orbi. So we need to get this installed before we run our 6E tests. As you can see, we have our main Orbi node right here plugged into the internet. Now, if we go over to the computer, finally, 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 we can see six gigahertz at channel 85. So we are using Wi-Fi 6E. Let's run a speed test. Now I would say the average for Wi-Fi 5 is about 400 to 500 megabits per second. Let us know in the comments right now, don't cheat, what we're gonna get on Wi-Fi 6E. Yeah, you done it? Three. Two, one, okay, let's do our speed test and let's see what we get. You guys can see this in real time. It is literally as if there's a hard wide cable plugged into the computer. 800, 830, 820. So I know some people will be interested in the ping times. As you can see, there isn't much interference here on the Wi-Fi 6E spectrum. So it is staying pretty solid around 10 milliseconds here. Obviously this is pinging out to Google. Okay guys, so I think it's about time that I try and wrap this video up and give you my overall thoughts of this Orbi system. Now, obviously the elephant in the room is the price. One and a half grand for this system. Now, on the surface, that seems like a lot of money but it's actually not too bad for what you're getting. And then the rest of the cost really adds up to how simple this system is to install compared to running cables around the house and the performance you get with that literal 10 minute install. The only other thing to really think about is there isn't that many Wi-Fi 6E client devices on the market right now. So it's easy to upgrade your computers and your laptops. You can just go out and buy a Wi-Fi 6E card. Got phones like the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, the Moto Edge, ROG phone, I believe, has Wi-Fi 6E. As well as from Samsung, the S21 Ultra and the Fold 3 both have Wi-Fi 6E. And for the iPhone people, well, hopefully we'll get Wi-Fi 6E come the iPhone 14 later this year. But if you've got the money to spend, guys, and you want some awesome Wi-Fi performance with really simple setup, I wouldn't look much further than this. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.